This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a belt and drive a belt in, in, with the animation so you can see it. Very handy in the robotics. Uh, for the time being right now, I have it turned on with color cycling. So let's shut that off for a second. And you can see the belt I've got here and I've anodized this aluminum. The reason I've got the wood here and here is because if you when you animate it, you can't see it if it's not if it doesn't have a grain on it. So this just gives us that grain look. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to start a new one and I'm going to click over here, design, sit on that face right there. I'm going to do, I can just go right to the center is fine. I'm going to make a 25 millimeter diameter and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to right click, press, pull this thing and I'm going to make it about 25 millimeters in diameter or length, oh, width, sorry, enter. I'm going to turn the color back on because I like doing that and one of the things I did wrong right now that I should have done uh, right click press pull is select new component I mean I could have fixed it the other way around but I like to I like to do it like this so not 250 definitely not 2500 five would work better okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some teeth on it so I'm gonna sit on this face right here I'm gonna scroll in like so and I'm going to draw a first thing I do is a construction line up. Construction lines are nice because they don't affect the entity, right? Uh, and then I'm going to take a regular line, shutting the construction line off. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make it, I don't know, maybe a millimeter high, one millimeter high. And now what I want to do is I'm going to come out down here and gra grab a line this way and come down into here somewhere. I'm not going to worry about the length, but I am going to tab and go 120 degrees. Now you can see how it slides down in pass. So you just go coincident and oh, no coincident. Touch this line first. And then I think you touch this line here and it'll cut itself back and make it properly there. Okay. I played around with that a little bit before and I was clicking the wrong lines. You got to click the end of it. If you do that, then you'll, it should be good. Now I'm going to click this line over here and I'm going to come down here from the top down to here and this of course is going to be 60 degrees tab 60 try that again back down tab 60 degrees and enter now you can see i made it too short did that kind of on purpose so if i click coincident and click here and then click there it drags it down and makes it the right size okay Good. Now I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to delete the stuff I don't need. Uh, this, I don't need that. I don't need this line here. Or that line, nor do I need that line. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to extrude this across to the other side. And I apologize for banging my mouse around, but I'm going to bring it across to the other side, right to there like that. And then we click, and it's joining. I'm going to click OK because it's part of it, right? Now, these are sharp edges. This would cut the belt. So let's go in and let's go in and make it a little bit more realistic. So let's do a fillet in here of say one millimeter. And over here, you always have a, you never want sharp edges. Sharp edges are where something's gonna break, right? So always have the right radius in your transitions. Now I'm gonna modify the top. And this one here, I'm gonna say 0. 0.250 microns. Something like that looks a little bit more realistic and it's not going to cut the belt. And of course, you could tighten this up, the belt up as well, so that it would grab in. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to I want to run this all the way around. So let's go down here to pattern, circular pattern, and let's come in here and let's grab this. I'm going to hold my control key down and I'm going to select these faces. Notice I'm click selecting faces here, faces here and here. And make sure I get the other one too, right there. And that's good. So it selected all those faces and it says, where do you want to go with them? Well, I want to rotate around this axis here. Now, currently you can see I've only got three. So what I want to do is I want to come in like this and then I'm going to, I'm just going to move something over there a little bit of the way. Let's try, I don't know, let's try 25. It's probably not going to be nearly enough, but you can see. And what you don't want it to do, actually, that would probably work okay. But what you don't want it to do is you don't want these two things to overlap. So let's try 30. Let's see what 30 looks like. It looks pretty good, right? You see how it's come up there? So I'm going to leave it at 30. And I'm going to click OK. 
and you can see now we've got somewhat of a realistic looking gear working on component number one so let's go in here now and let's change this to uh drive drive sprocket and okay it's a good idea to always be naming your stuff in here it makes it much easier so now i'm going to go and i'm going to sit on this face here and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to put a, a hole maybe i don't know let's say 10 millimeters yeah, that's probably a bit yeah that should be okay 10 millimeter hole right click here press pull this thing and let's cut it out so now we got a hole going through our gear or our drive sprocket now let's sit on this face here and let's we're going to stop the belt from coming off the end right so we're going to come in here we're going to go like this actually before we do that let's put a pin in here let's let's do our pin first finish this guys let's put a pin in the drive sprocket first press pull uh, I'm going to go to two sides. I'm going to bring the pin out this way, and I'm going to go on the other side. I'm going to bring the pin out this way as well. You can always bring them back a little bit later once we determine our height. So let's just put it out here like kind of an arbitrary length right now. All right. And it just makes it easier to grab it later on. If it's down inside, we want to pull it out. So now I'm going to sit on this face. So that face there, and I'm going to put a something about i don't know maybe 30 millimeters in diameter it's probably good just to stop the belt from coming off the edge so right click this one now press pull it and make sure i just click that one right there and i'm going to pull him out and it's currently in the cut mode i don't want that i want it to be joining to the original and a couple of millimeters is probably good all right so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now i'm going to come over here and i sit on this face and I'm going to draw a circle, same thing. Let's go to the view, proper view. Same width, you see how it snaps out there, perfect, right? Finish the sketch, I can hit extrude, E for extrude or shortcut for the shortcut. Let's make that two millimeters as well. Okay, that's good. Now what I wanna do is let's put, uh, let's make two, we need two of them, so Let's go here and let's go to up here. We're going to move, move, uh, translate it with X and Y. If you do it this way, it'll be free move. You want X and Y and component. And I want to capture the position and I want to select that. And I want to make a copy actually. And I'm going to bring it down. Let's go to, I don't know, like 100 millimeters. Yeah, it's probably good because we can still see it on. Yeah, click OK. So now you can see right now it's got dry sprocket one, dry sprocket two. So it knows it's exactly the same thing. So if I come in here, a couple things first I'll jump on. Uh, this sprocket here, if I come in here and click that and say, OK, let's uh, let's change that. Let's press pull this out a little bit further. The other side does it as well. Okay, because I cho chose this one. If I choose this one here, if I come down here and say, okay, I want you, I want to press pull you, but I want to push you back in. Do you see it's attaching? So either one of them, it doesn't matter. It's it's connected. So it's one and the same, right? So it's nice because you make one, you make one copy at a bunch of places and then say, oh, geez, I got to make a change to it. Well, it's easy enough to do that, right? Okay. So now I want to put the, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to put your, put my belt on it now. Hard to see it like this. Uh, so what, you, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can hide things, right? You can hide the edges. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into display settings. I don't use very often use hidden edges, but in this case, I'm going to. And now I can see where the belt is. So let's go ahead and draw the belt in. I'm going to sit on this face here. Actually, wrong face. Let's roll it up. I want to sit on that face because I want to draw the belt forward this way. Okay. So I'm going to sit, hit the escape key for a second. Let's finish this sketch and let's go back and do that again. And let's select that face there. So now we're sitting on that face. I can do it a couple different ways. I could draw it around. I could do uh, multiple different ways to draw it. But one of the ways I'm going to do it right now is, is a slot, slot center to center, center of that guy to the center of that guy and you can bring it out and they're going to do the outside edge of this of the drive belt first i'm going to come out to right almost to the edge almost to the edge right say something like that okay i can finish the sketch 
And I'm going to do the same thing again. I come back in because I just did the outside. So let's do the inside of the of it. Now this again. Uh, so on this face here, right there, right click. Let's edit that sketch down here. And let's go and grab another slot, center to center, here to here, and then let's bring it out. Let's zoom in so we know where we're going. Now, it wouldn't sit right on top of those teeth. It would sit a little bit inbound because those teeth would impregnate in slightly like that. So that should work there. Finish the sketch. And now we are going to extrude it. So let's hit the E. And let's grab that. But you notice it didn't grab the whole thing. It grabbed all kinds of stuff. So I don't want that. I just want it to grab this, right? So it might take a little playing around with it. See how it grabbed part of it, but it didn't grab that. So now I've grabbed it all. I'm going to create a new component out of it. I click OK. Whoops. I'm not sure why it didn't work. Just give me a second. Uh, extrude this and that. New component. Not let me select new component. I don't know why. Not even let me select new body. I'm not sure why. But we're going to figure it out. Extrude. Let's try it again. Files. Here we go. I don't know why I was doing that. It is what it is. Okay, so it's cutting now. I don't want that. I want a new component. And I'm going to come in here. Now, I want to go to the other end, like so, so I can see how far it goes. Now, it wouldn't hammer right up against that. There would be a gap here and a gap here, but I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. It's fine. Click OK. And I'm just going to go. So I got that now. Let's do, let's double click that here and let's call this uh, our belt. All right, so now we need a couple of wheels. Let's put some wheels on it to rotate around. So I'm going to hit the escape key. I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn the visual style back to visible edges only, like so. Then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sit on this face. It doesn't really matter what face I sit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit on that face right there. And I'm going to draw a wheel like so. And let's make it 70. I like 70. And I'm going to right click that. Escape. Press pull that. And I'm going to pull it inbound so that it goes onto the shaft. Okay. Except I'm going to make it so that it's a new component. And... Do you notice it? this wheel disappeared? That's because it was joining, which automatically added it to here, which we don't want. And I'm going to, 10 millimeters, I think looks pretty good. So let's get, click OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come over here and do another one on this end, right? And I'm before I do that, let's call this wheel, wheel one. Good. And let's do this one over here. Maybe he's going to be big. Finish. Good enough. Right click, press pull, same thing. Let's pull it inbound. It says, hey, let's join. Nope, we're not joining. New component, 10 millimeters. Let's go bigger with this. Let's go all the way into here. Let's make it look different. Click OK. And there we have our two wheels. So now everything's good there. We can place it. We can add some stuff to the other side for fun later on. But what we're going to do now is we're going to start to assemble it and make it drive. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is assemble. There's many different ways you can do this. I'm going to go as built and I'm going to go as built. This may take me a second. I think it's from that. No, I want that to that, I believe. And I want to rev revolute. And where do I want to do it? I want to do it in the center right there. And you can see this is driving and this is going, which is good. And you can't see that moving because it's not, it doesn't have color to it. I'll, I'll show you in a second. We'll put some definition to it. So assemble as built joint, do the same thing again. I'm going to touch this thing. I'm going to touch that. It's a revolute. Click OK. And where do I want to revolve? I want to revolve around that point right there. 
and I'm going to click OK. And now if you come up into here to Joints and right click and go to Animate Model, you can see that moving. And if you can look here, you can see him moving. And the wheel's moving as well, but you can't see it because it's... So let's stop that for a second and let's jump into let's jump into this. Let's go into Modify Appearances and let's click... Uh, let's make rubber for starters. Let's grab some uh, let's soft rubber, right? Because it's a belt. And then let's do aluminum. Let's go for some aluminum. Aluminum. And let's do the anodized blue for that. And the anodized blue for this one. Oh, they did both because, of course, it's a component. And let's do, if you do a color here, you won't see it. But if you do, like, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Let's just do wood. Um, Bell, there you go. And let's grab some pine for this one. And I don't know, some, let's see what else we got. Unfinished maple over here. How about that? Unfinished maple on that side. And now if you click close and you take off the cycling, that's why it's there. Uh, that's why you can see it. And then if you go to animate joint, oh, still not moving. That's because it's not locked. And so now what I want to do is I want to lock that out. Just a second here. 